Hi. Currently, the United States Senate is conducting confirmation hearings on Judge Amy Coney Barrett, and she will likely be the new Supreme Court Justice. And we're hearing many legal terms batted around at the hearings, such as stare decisis, precedent, and super precedent. And people are wondering, what do those terms mean? Let me try to explain. Stare decisis is a legal term, it's Latin, meaning to stand by things decided which means that on a legal issue, if a court decided that legal issue a certain way years ago, and the same legal issue came up today, it should stick to its prior decision. It's all about precedent. And precedent means that a prior court decision is binding on the court today, or very persuasive on the court today. So if the US Supreme Court said 10 or 20 years ago, this is the rule on a particular legal issue, the lower courts would have to follow that rule. Now, for the last 20 years or so, we've heard a new legal term called super precedent. And super precedent doesn't really have a legal definition, and there's no list of cases that are considered super precedent cases, but basically this is what it means. That there are some very few important cases that are so entrenched in our legal system and society that if the court changed them, overturned them, it would upend the legal system and change significantly society. Let me give you two great examples. Brown v. Board of Education in 1954 and Miranda v. Arizona in 1966. Brown v. Board said no segregation in public schools and Miranda imposed the Miranda warning on arrestees. If we ever had a Supreme Court that changed those decisions, it would upend the legal system and a great part of society. So that's basically a thumbnail sketch of the legal definitions of those terms.